Well, I thought I was going to make some uh, yarn balls today. They're the balls that people use when they're knitting to put the wool in. And I'll do some sort of fancy cut it out things. Apparently it's for the wool to go through. We'll just make a couple of the balls first and then we'll show you how we, we cut the bits out later. So I've got to throw these quite thick because when you're cutting them out, it leaves the pot quite weak. And it, if it's too thin, it tends to deform in the kiln. So just got to bear in mind to keep them quite thick. shape I'm going to do, sort of semi-circular shape. I don't want to be rolling over the edge because I'm, that's where I'm going to be cutting the cutting the slots in and things. So. to make the rim look even thicker than it is, is to just flatten it like that. And then roll it over, which makes it look a lot thicker than it actually is. Puts a bit of a bead on the outside. and then I tend to cut these the same day and then trim them the next day because they need to be soft enough to cut to cut the holes in and the, the slots in but then they're still too wet to actually turn to trim so it's, it's quite a strange process doing one thing before the other I'll just do another one
let these dry a bit and then I'll uh, do the piercing out and then we'll trim them and turn them finally and then we'll show you what they're like finished. Alright then folks, as you can see it's dried out a bit now but the bottom is still way too wet to, to start trimming it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the holes out on the little swirly things. So I'm going to use a little punch to start off with. And I'm going to use the finest needle tool to hopefully stop it getting any rough edges. So I'll just show you what I do. I'm just going to put a hole in there. Just for a starting point. And then with this one, I'm just going to do like a, probably like a bit of a J shape. I don't usually do it in this position, but I've got to do it like this for the camera. So I'll just that's why you can't have it too hard at the top because it won't cut. So we'll just follow that round at this side, I'm leaving a channel for the for the wool to fat pass through, and again. Just change the specs over. So I'm going to take that bit out, and that's the sort of shape. As you can see, it is quite rough, but I'll sponge that off. And I'm just going to put two more little holes in. Apparently, that's where they they poke the knitting needles through to store them, or you can put more wool in. I don't know. I'm not a knitter. So what I'm going to do with this now? I'm just going to sponge it off just to tidy any of the rough edges off comes off quite easily and as you can see the reason I I did throw the pot quite thickly is because because nothing's attached there this is quite wobbly so if it was too thin then it would it would just warp in the kiln I've made some thin ones before and they just go all over the place so I'll just sponge this off Tidy the edges up, and that's about right. So that's just a basic shape, as you can see, the finished shape of it. So I'll just do another one. I did this before, but then the camera went off, so I've got a little hole already punched in. So we'll try a bit, a bit more of an extravagant one, more like a swirly thing. So let's have a go at this. So I'll go up and around and around and up I've got to keep thinking it's yeah the left bit goes to the anyway as you can see that's very loose so I'm going to continue the channel round And take it out. So these are the sort of shapes that do that can tend to go really wonky in the kiln. As you can see. Again, I'll just put a couple of holes in. There, I'll just give this a bit of a sponging off. Because there's not a lot holding this together. <laughs> at the top anyway sponge these little burrs off didn't take too long I'll just try and do it for me probably can't see Bit from the inside. So that's a more extravagant one, as you can see. Bit of a bit of an overkill one. So what I'll do tomorrow when they're properly dry, I'll turn them up, get a nicer shape on the bottom, do a bit of decorating on the insides. But that's just how I cut them out, and that's the sort of bizarre shape you can get. 
So the pots have dried a bit today from yesterday, so we'll just do a bit of trimming, turning, got with various tools. Get a nicer shape on the bottom. taking quite a lot off so that's a little bit more, more refined so I'll just show you what little bit of decoration I'm going to do in the middle do a bit of a, a spiral shape now. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it on this. It's a bit dark in here today. So I'm just going to put some coloured slip in the middle and then I'm just going to draw a spiral out. Like so, probably can't see it obviously. So that's it, I'll put some pictures up of the finished items, but that's how I make me uh, yarn balls.